Don't sit in the middle. Don't sit in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> so this table has been around for 25 years. So for it being that old, I honestly don't think it's in that bad a shape, but I do think it's but I do think it's high time that my folks get a brand new one. So in this week's video, I'm gonna be building a traditional style picnic table. Now I've been getting a ton of comments and questions regarding when I'm gonna be getting my new shop. Unfortunately, it's not gonna be for a few months. So in the meantime, I am primarily working from the tailgate of my truck and or my dad's shop which is fine because the weather's perfect for it right now, but also I hope it gives you a reminder that you don't have to have a dedicated workshop in order to do projects that you want. For the picnic table, I set up a stop block at the miter and started cutting all of the boards that will make up the top to link. Now, if you want specifics, I do have a set of plans on my website for you to build your own. I'm gonna be building the entire table from treated material. So once the wood fully dries, then I'll come back and give it a coat of paint. After getting all of the top pieces cut, I decided to cut the outside boards with an angle just to give it a little bit of a, of a decorative look. I laid out all of the boards and arranged them in the way that I wanted them. Then I cut the boards that will be attached to the underside in order to connect all of the boards for the tabletop. On these end pieces, I went ahead and used pocket holes. Then for the inside boards, I went straight into the underside. Next, I moved the tabletop up to some saw horses and started attaching the legs. And since I'm building it upside down, it's also acting as my makeshift workbench. To attach the legs, I clamped them in place and pre-drilled a hole. I used carriage bolts with some flat washers and nuts to attach them. After getting in one in each leg, I could then remove the clamps and then repeat the process in order to put a second carriage bolt into each leg. When it came time to add on the leg bracing, I would first cut one end off, hold it in place by way of, of a makeshift shelf, which is made out of clamps, and then just mark the other end on where it needed to be cut. Then I could clamp that into place and repeat the process using two carriage bolts per leg. Now you could stop there, however, I decided to come back with the diagonal member just to give it some more left and right stability. <laughs> now if you have a helping hand, then it would be great just to each take an end and flip it over. But if you're like me and you're working by yourself, then you just gotta take it slow and be a little creative. <laughs> I know I said I was gonna build a traditional style picnic table, but I decided to make removable benches instead of attached benches, just because I personally find it easier to be able to scoot the bench out, sit down, and then scoot it back in. But the benches are very simple. They're pretty much a direct duplicate of the table, but just in a smaller form. So I cut the top, attached the underside bracing, and then attached the legs, again using some carriage bolts. However, when I put the first bench down and sat on it, I realized that it was just a tad bit too low. I called in my dad to get a second opinion. Looks good. I think it might be too low. It's a little low. <laughs> I mean, it's not stupid low. It's kind of maybe a little low. Okay. No big deal. So the cool thing about this build is that it was very easy to correct. I could just simply take out the carriage bolts, take off the leg pieces, cut some longer ones, and then reattach them. And that turned out to be a much better height. However, since I did extend them, I figured I'd add in some additional support. Some leg supports, and then also cutting in a diagonal member. And you can see here just how much of a big difference this diagonal member makes. Here's one with the diagonal members, and then this one, I don't even want to step on it. And if I can't step on it, well, then I can't trust it. With all three pieces done, I loaded it up in the back of my pickup truck, actually using those lumber racks that I made last summer. Man, they come in handy. Hey, that's cool. That is cool. <laughs> then I just drug it over to where my folks wanted it and offloaded it into place. Now this is a very quick build, so if you're looking for a fun springtime project to do, maybe even with the family, then I definitely recommend this one. One last test. 
Yep, I trust all three of these pieces. <laughs> That's gonna be it for this one. I hope that you enjoyed the video. I'm definitely gonna get tons of use out of this. If you would like to build your own, then of course I have a set of plans on my website and I will link to those in the description below. Big thank you to Rockler for supporting my channel. And as always, I will see you on whatever it is I'm working on next.